So this is Captain June's hut. It's a back under. <laughs> we cannot tell you how special these Lycian tombs are. There's not that many places that you can go swimming at the beginning of January. The world needs more people like Captain June. Yeah. Maybe if it's open, we'll jump in. Just do it in your pants. <laughs> We're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. It is the best atmosphere ever! Whilst attempting to drive around the world, in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. All British travelers abroad are advised, advised uh, to return now. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. We hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join our travel community and also consider giving it a thumbs up. Welcome to Dalian. Dalian is in the Mudla province and it's in southwestern Turkey. And it's about halfway between Fethiye and Marmaris. And if you're flying, the nearest airport is in Daliman. Dalian translated means weir. Carved into the cliff face and overlooking the river, the Lycian tombs dominate the landscape here and date back to 400 BC. And in the centre of town you can find lots of cash points. One thing you're definitely going to want to do when you come here is go to the Itzuzu beach and there are three ways. You can either drive yourself there, get one of the local bus trips out there, if not, take a boat! And now we're heading to the beach. Sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah. The beach, maybe the turtle sanctuary. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's open. But we have to go to the beach on such a beautiful sunny day. at Itsu, Itsuzu Plaji. So one of the things down on this beach that it is famous for is the Turtle Research Rescue and Rehab Centre which we're going to try and see if it's open and go there first. So we're heading that way. Captain June is a very famous figure here in Dalian. She's an English lady who fought the building of a resort on this beach here many years ago. She fought it because this area is famous for the loggerhead turtles. They lay their eggs on the beach here. She managed to make this a nature reserve and it is now fully protected. So this is Captain June's hut. She's in her 90s now. In fact, I think she's 98, isn't she? and um, what a remarkable lady and together with people like David Bellamy if you're back home uh, in the UK you would know um, David Bellamy they've done a wonderful thing here the nature of this region wouldn't be what it is today if it was full of big hotels and resorts it just wouldn't be the same absolutely remarkable the world needs more people like captain june yeah absolutely one thing we know about turtles is plastic bags look like jellyfish and jellyfish is the main source of food for turtles and that's why we have um reusable cotton bags that we use for shopping and that's the biggest thing that anyone can do to stop um, turtles from um, choking and dying and you're encouraged to come here and see the work that they do and also gain information and knowledge because education is power that's how you learn and that's how we can all do our bit what a phenomenal setup we are always in awe of people that dedicate their life and their time to something amazing. They've currently got a green turtle and some uh, loggerhead turtles. They're just telling us about the veterinary process, but the work they do here is incredible. So that was really interesting. And now we're just wandering down to the beach and uh, this beach looks fabulous. Normally in the summer, Levent was saying that this car park is absolutely packed. Um, and it's only open, the beach is only open during set times. 
uh, sort of from morning till evening. You can tell this beach is very well looked after because there is no rubbish. It is absolutely beautiful. There is a reason why this is classed as one of Turkey's best beaches because it's pristine with wonderful views all the way around. There's not that many places that you can go swimming at the beginning of January and uh, you can hear there's a gentleman that we've just seen out there swimming if i had my swimmers we would be in there and here the beach levent was saying that it's not very deep you can go way out and uh, it's all sort of waist high knee to waist high uh, out there so it's a it's a nice family relaxed beach it's not too deep And this is the beach where all the loggerhead turtles come up and lay their eggs and uh, the nests are all protected during the nesting season. So the authorities actually build frames around the nest to stop people walking on them or destroying them accidentally. Um, and then in the sort of nesting area from the, from the posts to the sea, you're not allowed to put any, any poles or dig anything in the ground just in case the authorities missed a nest, then you wouldn't be damaging it. So we've been out filming with Levent all day and uh, we were talking about cotton. Cotton used to be the um, produce of uh, Dalian. And uh, he was explaining that pomegranate is now the number one uh, produce of the Dalian area. He said, actually, my brother lives here, so we popped over to see his brother's place, who has masses of pomegranate trees, uh, which have all been harvested now, it's the, the winter season. Um, and then I noticed all these buildings here, and I just said, what, what are these? And um, he was explaining that if you come to Dalian and you want something in nature, away from the town, um, up by the mountains, the hills, you can go hiking and walking. We're not far from Itsuzu Beach. Um, this is a really, really lovely place to come and stay. They've got a swimming pool as well. And of course, they're baby chickens. We've arrived at Dalian Market that you can see behind us. You know how much we love markets, so we're gonna go and have a little look around to see what is on offer. Yeah, our friend Tony B, who runs a Facebook group, told us that some of the markets, due to the curfews, are being taken from the weekend to midweek. So if you are here in any of the coastal towns in Turkey and want to go to the markets, just check out with the local when they are. Absolutely. Right, let's go and have a look around. The best thing about markets are you don't need to have a shopping list. You just see what's best and choose from all the local produce. Uh, <laughs> always good to keep stocked up with olives you know how much we love olives but they got lovely fruit and veg here um, i just love walking around the markers it's really nice isn't it just to see what they've got on offer and it's so much cheaper and fresher than the supermarket yeah really colorful it is absolutely amazing and it smells can you just yeah so lovely We bought some celery act. Marianne's craving celery act. Oh, they got fresh ginger. So we're just walking past a gozleme stand. You know us and gozleme. We can't refuse uh, a gozleme. And we haven't had breakfast this morning yet either. So we're going to take full advantage of it. Wow.
there's something incredibly special about um, the Turkish markets and the people you meet. Everyone's just so lovely. Okay, so we had a great time walking around the market. We've wandered down to the center of town to a little park to sit and eat our lunch. And uh, one's got chili in it and one doesn't have chili in it. But the lady said she put a napkin in the one with chili just to stop Marianne eating it by accident. That's mine then. That's yours, no chili. No chili. There and you go. This one must be yours. Okay, let's have a look. How do we get into it? like that look at that there's the napkin this is the one with chili let's give it a go oh yeah look at this it's still lovely and warm oh she cut them into quarters yeah look mm. oh, how good is that loads of filling in it and the pastry is really good sometimes they, they are different. Everyone's like, oh, it's just a gozleme, but some of them are really tasty. This one's particularly mm. good. And they don't normally offer you chili like that, but that is lovely and spicy. So yeah, right, time to eat lunch. Mm. If you're like us, you know we love food. And one thing in Dalian is they have a mixture of different cuisines and types of food available, like Indian restaurants, fish restaurants, and there's Italian pizza! Cockerech! There's lots of cafes and patisseries. Chinese restaurants. Turkish food. Coffee, tea and cookie houses. Steakhouse and Mexican restaurants. Bars. And if you want to choose a tour group, we've had loads of recommendations and they've all recommended Volcans. So we had such a fab day the other day that we're off out again today and uh, we're going with Levent on a little boat trip uh, to the nearby lake. And uh, the good thing about staying in the uh, Osmanli Hani apartments is it's only about five or 10 minutes walk into town. And what I didn't realize is Levent is actually a bit of a celebrity in Dalian. Oh yeah, <laughs> everybody knows Levent. In fact, when they see us walking around, they're like, Oh, you're staying at Levent's place, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've literally just come, not even as far as town. And uh, this is where we're gonna be getting the boat from. Wow, and we're so lucky the weather's come out to shine again today. I think we've got a couple of dogs that are coming with us. It's normal, good morning. <laughs> Mehmet is our captain. His captain Mehmet. Hi, Hello. Captain Mehmet. Hi. Uh, okay, you're going aboard. Princess. Yes. Hello. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Wow, look at this boat. How cool is this? Wow. <laughs> okay, so where are we going, guys? Isn't this wonderful? So we're heading upstream to the lake and uh, there's some sulfur pools as well we're gonna go and check out. Um, but it's just so 
beautiful and pretty. It's nice to get back to, uh, to nature. This is amazing. We've already seen uh, cormorants and herons and diving birds that I don't recognize. Oh, what bird is that? They just dipped under there. Um, but there are three fish types that we know of. Grey mullet, sea bass and sea bream. Sea bream, yes. wonderful. Yes. And they all live in these wonderful waterways. So Levent was just explaining that the whole of this lake is protected. You're not allowed to come here and fish. There's only parts of the river going back towards town to the sea uh, where you can, you can fish in certain parts. This is really, really big for a fish preserved area. There must be a lot of fish here. This is a fisherman's heaven. Yes. Because <laughs> it's not fished. So when we were on top of the hill yesterday looking down, you could see the gates. The gates trap the fish in certain parts of the river and then they're fed um, and caught for food. So it's fish farming. Uh, very, very natural. And when they catch them, they'll only catch a certain size to preserve the rest of the fish in the river. We're just coming up to this uh, little village. Is a village here or it's a place? What's, what's it called? A place, Sultania. Which is famous for mud baths, volcanic mud baths. Therm You're going in a mud bath? Depends how cold it is. And thermal springs. Maybe if it's open, we'll jump in. Maybe not. Maybe you will. <laughs> Maybe Marianne will and I could film her. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of behind the scenes talking about are we going to do this or aren't we going to do this and event he said he's never done it and we're like just come in and he's like I haven't got my swimmers and I'm like just do it in your pants. He <laughs> <laughs> did say he could do it in his boxers or yeah, his underpants we're, but we're he still, doesn't seem too keen. We're still debating whether we're going to do this or not. It's not about brave. We've got our hoodies on because I would say it's probably about 17 degrees and with the wind chill of um, on the boat because we're set outside. It's a nice day though. It's, it's nice. a beautiful day. But That's just an excuse, Mary. It's a bit crisp. <laughs> okay, it's an excuse. She's trying to make excuses not to jump in the mud. Okay, mud it will be. So here you go. They do have rooms or little huts to rent here. There seems to be some camper vans here or motorhomes. And people like to come to the volcanic pools because if you've got arthritis or sore joints, obviously it's very good for you. There you go. Are they inside these domes? Yes. Oh, so you're inside. Oh. oh, so it's not cold, Marianne. <laughs> it's very quiet. There's nobody there. This is your summer job, Levent. <laughs> <Levent. laughs> summer job. Your you summer you job. Uh, would, you, would you employ him? That's yeah? <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look. It's closed. So unfortunately, because of the pandemic, it's actually closed. But here is one of the one of the volcanic hot pools. Oh, you can smell the sulfur. Yeah, it's steaming. You can see that it's steaming here. Levent, you got away without going in in your underpants. You're happy, aren't you? <laughs> He's happy. He's happy it's closed. Oh, here's another pool. And this is all natural volcanic. Yes. Is it normally very busy? Yes. All the tour boats, especially coming here. Ah, you can really smell the sulfur. That's why it's good for your skin. Yeah. But there you go. We came, we tried, but we didn't conquer. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wallowing in the mud today for us. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. Lucky me. Me, me. But we did try. <laughs> we would have done it, I think. Yes. 
<laughs> you would have done it, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I can try. <laughs> <laughs> he can say that now it's closed. We were talking uh, to Levent about um, the beauty of Turkey. That it's not to be questioned. Um, but Dalian for us is really magical, it's really special. The waterways, the town, the beach, the turtle sanctuary, there's so much going for it in Dalian with this lovely, authentic, like villagey, small town feel. It's got such a friendly um, vibe about it. Everyone's incredibly welcoming, as they are all over Turkey, but there's definitely something magical. Especially Levent. <laughs> Especially Levent. Ah, oh, he's our hero! <laughs> We've been out filming in Dalian for a couple of days now, but honestly, we cannot tell you how special these Lycian tombs are. You can't get a better way of seeing the tombs than by boat. So Captain Meme and his boat, they take you on a variety of trips. You can go to the beach, you can go and do a little tour of the lake like we did. You can even go on a moonlight tour and have a romantic dinner on board. So romantic. <laughs> You've made it to the end of the video, which means you must have liked it. So please go ahead, click that subscribe button to come on this amazing adventure with you and we will see you in the next episode. Oh, you're still there. That really is the end of the show. Time to go watch something else. Lots more videos on there. But uh, yeah, that is, that's the end guys. Thanks for watching.